What's going on guys, it's Lewis and I'm going to show you um, continuing on with the tutorial on how to set up your own server and I'm going to just continue right from where we left off. Now from where we left off we had Hamachi all set up and people could easily connect to our network which allowed them access to our computer. However we still haven't actually set the server up. All we've done is allow people to connect to the host machine which is whatever machine you're currently hosting the server on. Um, it's pretty easy from now on in fact it's all very easy but this is very very easy to do uh, link to the um, the link to the download will be included it will bring you to this page link in the description and um, when you come to this page it's the same page that you download Minecraft from like the actual game Minecraft but underneath that it says multiplayer server and this is what you want to look for you'll have um, a couple of links, you'll have minecraft underscore server dot exe uh, a, wiki, a wiki article and minecraft underscore server dot jar you can use the jar if you want to, it's a similar setup um, I've used it before and it comes up with basically the same result uh, this is just a bit more uh, involved uh, as you can see, uh, it's not got um, a GUI or graphical user interface, so it is a bit more involved, it uses the command line, but other than that, it is basically the same. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use minecraft underscore server dot exe. So just download that, and save it, and when it downloads, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and go anywhere, it doesn't really matter, my documents, your desktop, which is where I tend to have it, anywhere at all, go and make a new folder and call it Minecraft Server. Um, open up this server, and this is where you're going to put this in. So drag ahead, could just go ahead and drag and drop that in from here. Um, and that is <laughs> the majority, that is the server right there. Go ahead and double click that, make sure you've uh, got always asked before opening this file checked off and click on run and it will load this up. Just let it do its thing really, it's just loading up the world and then close it. I said close it, there we go. And you'll now have a bunch more uh, files and a folder in this directory. That is why you have to create a separate folder for it because if you put it in like if you just keep this on your desktop and you open it you get all these files all over your desktop and it comes a bit messy now um, effectively that is your server setup um, there are a few things you need to tweak but other than that that is basically your server setup uh, you need to look for a folder called uh, not a folder a file called server.properties when you found that go to open with because by default you won't be able to open it and open it up with notepad, wordpad, uh, word, doesn't really matter, just anything that can read text files and go ahead and open it and you'll be presented with this. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them because they're basically, oh, well I'm not going to go in depth because they're pretty self-explanatory, allow nether, obvious. The level name is whatever your actual world folder is called, so if I was to rename this I'd have to input that uh, name into here, otherwise it's going to create a brand new world. Uh, obviously the workaround is just renaming the folder to whatever is in this, which is what I tend to do. Uh, I'm not too sure enable queries, I'll put an annotation on the video if I can find that out. Allow fly is just whether you want users to be able to use fly mods and stuff. Server port, just leave it as 25565. Level type similar to the single player stuff, default is normal, large biome is large biomes, and super flat is obviously super flat. Uh, again, not, not sure what enable archon is, so again I'll leave an annotation in if I can find it out. Uh, level seed, self explanatory, is the seed that you want the level to generate. Server IP, again, pretty simple. Uh, whatever, just make that a bit smaller. 
whatever your IP is on Hamachi, that's what you need to put in here. So 5.115.215.184, and that's going to be your server IP. Max build height is when it gets to this amount of blocks in the sky, you won't be able to build. So don't overdo it because someone will just build something ridiculously high and it will mess your server up. 256 to 512 generally works as far as I'm aware. Um, leaving on the default you'll be fine. Um, I have lowered that before and it's been perfectly fine. You know, just people haven't people haven't just been able to build up to a certain height. But yeah. Um, spawn NPCs is villagers. Whitelist is if your server uses a whitelist, which I will explain in a moment. Uh, obviously all of the option well most of the options are either true or false spawn animals obvious hardcore if you die you will be permanently banned from the server texture pack is if you want to make anyone that connects to your server be forced to use a texture pack online mode um, is if you want to force it to use um, authentication turn it to false uh, you might get the occasional quote unquote notch joining your server but it just means that people who uh, either can't connect to the minecraft.net servers can connect or people with cracked clients can connect pvp obvious if you want to be able to, if you want um, damage to other players then leave it as on otherwise then it's false difficulty zero is peaceful one is easy two is normal and three is hard game mode Zero is survival, one is creative, and two is adventure. Max players is obvious. Spawn monsters, that's obvious. Generate structures is things like strongholds, villages, all them sort of stuff. View distance is however far you want it to load the blocks in view. This is, you know, I'm not, it's like just 10 blocks in front. I think I don't really know. Uh, leaving it as 10 is the default, and it's the default as it is in single player, I believe. It's fine, you won't really notice any difference, to be honest with you. MOTD, message of the day, change it to whatever you want your uh, your players to see. So if you've made a website, just go ahead and put it to your website. Or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and save that and then close out of it. And that's basically it for the server settings. Um, there's a few other things to explain. Banned IPs, put whatever IP in you want to ban, and it will permanently ban that IP. Uh, unless, of course, you change the banned until. And it uses this, so it will link up to your computer's time and date. Um, and whenever this updates to the correct date that you've input here, it will unban them. Same with banned players, but just put their name instead of their IP. Um, ops or OPs are basically people with um, commands. So give item, TP, stuff like that. I'll get into the commands um, at another point, or I might just put them in the description. I'll, I'll probably put them in the description because there's a lot of them to go through. Um, Server.log is obviously just a log of everything that happens on your server, you can ignore it. And whitelist, if your server requires a whitelist, you have to put the correct username in here. If the username is not correct, they will not be able to connect to your server. Um, so go through them, make sure you understand all of them. Uh, most of them can be understood by reading them, uh, specifically that. And that's about it. That is literally your server setup. So when you're ready to set it up, go ahead and open up Minecraft underscore server dot exe because it's running in offline mode. As you can see, it'll say uh, no attempt to authenticate usernames. Blah 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 blah. And then once you've done that, your server is up. People can connect provided that they are connected to your Hamachi. So five dot one one five. 215.184 and I'll log you in and there you are Bill. 
compound. For some reason it's not loading up my skin, but whatever. Um, there you go. You've set up your very own Minecraft server. Uh, don't be afraid if at first the world is taking long. It depends on what you're doing. Mine's taking quite a long time due to the fact that it's um, obviously uh, I'm recording so it's using up more power which is also why it looks like I'm lagging but yeah that is basically your server if someone wants to connect then they can I would show you but uh, yeah I don't really have anyone else to connect at this moment in time um, but once it's up once oops once this is up, as long as this is up, people can connect. You get a playlist here. Um, if you want to go into the commands, just type in slash help one, slash help two, slash help three, slash help four, and slash help five. And it will list all the commands available to you. Um, the main ones would be OP. So OP Lewis. You put the username in, and I'm. Oh, I've put the wrong name in, that's outstanding. OP Lewis, so I'm now on OP. Um, game mode one. Um, this differs if you're on an actual account. So if you're on here, you'd have to do um, game mode Lewis zero. Game mode zero Lewis then. Yep, and there we go. And that's basically it. Um, if any of you guys need any more help feel free to message me or leave a comment or whatever and I will get back to you immediately quite literally well not literally but you know what I mean and I hope you've you know learned how to set up your own server because when I first started it was quite confusing um, and I hope you've enjoyed it so uh, goodbye <laughs>